Now then, my name's Mike, and I've not done one of these vlogs for a while, but not catfishing this time. I'm after some dustbin lids, some big slime balls, big bream, hopefully double figures. Um, the weather's been, it's 1st of September by the way, as you'll know the weather's been boiling at late, but we've got the wind have changed, it's gone easterly, which isn't the best direction, but it's cooled things down. We've got plenty of cloud coming. There's a bit of rain forecast in a day or two. So, it might switch them on. You know, some a bit of change. Maybe a bit of low pressure coming in. So you just you just never know. I've been here maybe two hours at the minute. So I'm going to spend two or three days here. You know, a couple of nights maybe. So we'll see how it goes. I'll tell you a bit more about the lake in a bit. And rigs and bait. All that lot. So stick with me and we'll see what we can do. Catch you in a bit. Right, it's half past seven and I've just had my first line bite. Thought I'd tell you a little bit about the lake. The lake's an old clay pit. I'm up in Yorkshire, by the way, East Yorkshire. Yeah, it's about six acres, seven acres. But it's like, what you can see at the far side is only halfway across. There's a, a band of reeds that splits the lake in half. So this ha half of the lake is really deep. I'm, I'm in about 14 foot of water. But then the other side, oh, a fish has just risen right where I'm fishing. But the other side, there's bars, you know, gullies and all that lot. But with being after bream, I know they're just like big deep holes. So that'll do me. So yeah, I've just had my first line bite and I've just, I'm fishing about halfway across which is only about 40 yards, nice and easy fishing. Started off with putting 10 spoms of about 6mm pellets, 10 spoms maggots and 10 balls of ground bait and I'm using maggot feeders and I'm casting in every half hour or something. But yeah, I've just had that first lamb bite, so you never know. Another couple of hours before it's dark. Right, catch you later. That's a brain bite. Not a monster, but it's a start. I'll be back in a minute. Right, here we go. It's a bit thin bodied, but it's a start. Seven pound on the nose. Let's try and get its grandma. Just shows you to start getting them line bites. See one or two top. It was only half an hour ago since I got the first line bite. Right, let's get it back. Catch you in a bit. Right, it's half past eight and it's more or less dark. It's, um, like I say, it's the 1st of September. Wildfowling starts today. I'm literally a mile away from the River Humber where the Ouse and the, the Trent start. So I'm hearing a few guns going off and I can hear the geese about. Yeah, I was doing a bit of that last year, but I'm not going to bother so much this year. Right, it's seven o'clock the next morning. Not a lot is happening. Um, but the roach seem to have moved in. I wouldn't mind catching them, but they're, they're not very big. I'd rather have a big roach than a big bream, to be honest. Anyway, this is the setup. These um, corn feeders are really good. I don't know, I think they're called a, a combi feeder or something. So it's like a maggot feeder, but you can actually get rid of this. Get rid of that and use it as just a normal ground bait feeder. I'm using the Acorum lead clip 
arrangement, quite small. Um, right, the brim I had. Get rid of that. So I've just been using maggots really. Size 12, super specialist. 18 inch hook length. Straight to that. But like I said, the roach are moved in. So we're going to get rid of this. We'll unclip that, put that somewhere safe. I'm going to try pellet. So that's a false pellet. It's like a little cap set up really. That's only three or four inches long that. And that'll be maybe a size 10 hook. So we'll get that on there. If my eyes will let me. That goes into there. Then we'll get rid of that. And we'll just put a lead on. So basically it's a mini mini cap set up. Then what we'll do. on there and that's it hopefully that might pick a bream up instead of them bloody roach I'll get this out hopefully I'll be back with a bream shortly catch you in a bit quick tip for you guys that use distant sticks and um, they always come with um, a piece of string that's your four yards your 12 foot but um, what I do is I use my rod I lay my rod down because my rods are 12 foot but what I've done with the bit of string that comes with it I've actually halved it so it's only two yards because a lot of the pegs you get they're not big enough to get you know four yards basically so they're set at two yards so yeah it's a nice little tip is that one also with another little tip for you the net I'm using isn't a carp net so it's not really deep, but the water levels are really, really low at the minute. So usually you can lay your, your net on the floor and have the net in the water if you've actually caught some it, just to keep it in the edge for a bit. But what I've done here, I put a bank stick just there, that's holding my net handle. And it goes down just so the front of the net is touching the water. So if I catch something, I can leave it there while I'm sorting my life out basically. I'm talking of sorting life out. These Corum fast mats, they're brilliant, absolutely brilliant. They don't wear anything. What I'll do, I'll show you that in a bit, how that works. It's a bit like the Fox unhooking mats. They just sort of spring open, but these are brilliant. They've just brought a new one out as well, a bigger one. So I might get the bigger one just in case carp come along. A 30 pound would go in there anyway, but I'll show you that in a bit. Right, so this is the current mat I was on about. Next to no size that. A foot by a foot maybe. Lift don't weigh anything. Comes with a little carry handle. Under the curl that. And that's just in there. So put that to one side, but that literally pops open like that. And that just goes inside it. Brilliant. Like I said, they just brought a bigger one out, which is more of a carp size. I think it's 500 by 1,000. Not this, but the bigger one. Brilliant. Right, hopefully I'll have a bream in it soon. Right, this is a bit more like it. Not quite there. But... Nine and a half pound. Half a tail on that one. <laughs> Definitely more like it. And the liners have started. Definitely more like it. That's an old fish, is that one? Right. Better get ready. That was on the pellets as well. So, good move going on the pellets tore off like a carp run as well. Right, let's get some more. Yeah, another little one. 
It's a skinner compared to the last one. Not bothered weighing it. Oh, slimy kit. <laughs> oh, they stink, don't they? <laughs> Proper covered in slime, this one. Right, let's get it back. Right, I'm slowly packing down now. I'm just going to give it till my nets are dry, basically. At least we haven't blanked. About a time ago, I'd have only done 24 hours. The weather's not quite doing what it said it was going to do. So I've spotted the rest of my stuff in. So I might come back next week. Have a go in the rain. Then again, they keep saying it's going to rain. It never does. So yeah, at least we didn't blank. So join me next time if you like. Cheers for watching. Catch you later.